Go to the Tools panel of Affinity Photo and select the Artistic Text Tool. Once you've done that, add a character, just any character. I'm going to go with A and B and C, etc. But you could use, of course, anything else. I'm just going to go for A. Now, what you can do, you can change the font. You can go through all your various typefaces. Maybe go for that one. Change the colour there. You can also change the stroke. So if you want to do that, just go down here to the Rectangle tool. And you can see you've got access then to the stroke size there, the weight. And you can modify that. So tweak it, maybe go for one of the dashes, etc. Also, it's just a layer, standard layer. You can go to effects. So I'm just going to go here to effects, click there, and you can turn around and say, well, let's go for outer shadow. Highlight that, select that, and then you can change the radius, change the offset and intensity. And you can extend these values beyond their settings here. So you can push it beyond 100 if you want to do that. Click OK. Now you can simply create another character, but you can also just simply just hold down the Alter Option key and drag. So that will create another character. So like that, you could have five or six characters, 20 characters. You can also, of course, resize that character, rotate that character. And you can also just again go over here to the text tool and select it. Maybe change it to B or C or some other character or D, anything. Also, of course, you can change the colour. So you can decide, you know what, I don't want that colour. I maybe want light blue and so on. Variety of different designs. Maybe create some more characters. However, once you've got this, what you can do, you can just drag using the move tool, just drag over both of them. Both are selected there. You can see that in the layers panel. Both are selected. Now you can go up here to layer and merge visible. Now you can't rasterize. You could do it individually, of course, but you can make them all one layer using the merge visible. And you can see as soon as you do that, they become a pixel layer over here in the layers panel. And that's what you need. You need it as a pixel layer. Now you can remove the other ones. You can simply select them in the layers panel and just go down here, little there, bin there, and delete them. And you've got that design. It's a pixel layer, which you can now go to the brushes. And you can find that in the view menu, studio and brushes. So you can just add this as a brush. It's a pixel layer. Anything that's a pixel layer can be added as a brush. So just go here, right side menu, and you've got new brush from selection. So you can just select that. Now you can, if you want to, you could actually just go like that, over hover over there, and just say, again, right side, new brush from selection. And in this case, you only get part of it, a very, very small part of it. It's up to you. If you think that bit of the design is nicer than the rest of the design, just use it. So select and deselect. And also what you can also do, you can always, of course, create multiple copies. So you can just create, say, two or three, four, five, hold down the alter option key again, make a jumble of designs like that, maybe recolor them, all those sorts of things. But again, you can select all of those and you can go to layer and you go down to merge visible. So it all become one layer. And again, you can delete the previous ones if you want to do that. So just delete them. You've got that layer. And you can again go to brushes, right side menu, and new brush from selection. And that will be added there. Now, just going to remove those. What you can do, just go over here. You can double click. Double, you know, just double click that. And you can see your entry there. You've got a nice little preview. It's not huge, but it's still pretty useful. But you can, if you want, just go and select, and you can use any of the tools, but just select that tool. You can see with that tool selected, and there it is, paintbrush tool. I'm using that one, but you could use other ones as well, perfectly reasonable. There's other ones that can be used, but I'm just going to apply it so you can see the design you're going to get. But you can see it here as well. And you can turn around and go to the general section. You can modify the size, make it smaller, make it bigger. Now, I mean, it was fairly big size, so you could go with something like 500, etc. Modify the spacing so you can get lots of character, obviously spread out there, or maybe have it very, very crunched together by reducing the spacing. Change the rotation so you can rotate it, create a nice sort of curl design there, weave in there. Well, what you can also do, dynamics. So you can change the size jitter, so you can see it just creasing, decreasing, depending on the pressure. Obviously, I'm using a mouse, so it's not going to have any of that, but you can always go for random. You can create a variety of different designs that way. 
So you can create some, if you apply it now, the brush, if I just go there, let's just go select, and I can apply it, you can see it will just increase in size. Well, you can also modify some of these other settings, maybe go for hue jitter, maybe saturation jitter, and so on, maybe this, the scatter. So you can see it's scattering out there. And once you're happy with that, click close and apply it. And you can see then, and now you can apply it again. And you can see over and over again, you can apply. Now, of course, what I could also change, and I didn't change, was the rotation. So you might want to go for here, rotation, rotation jitter, so you get them all sort of rotating. If you don't want them all to be the same, like that. And you can modify, ooh, wrong one, that one. This is the one I want, rotation jitter. Got obviously the other one I was using there. And you can see, now you will notice there's an issue, one issue with it, you can see through it. It's a problem with this sort of brush. You can see through it, obviously it's not gonna be black, so it's just not gonna clear, but it still creates very interesting sort of text designs very quickly using this approach. And again, you've got the other one as said, just there. So that one, that one, let's just double click that one. You can see that one has got that blurry effect. I've made a selection there. You can modify that, and again, you've got all those there. You can go for spacing. Let's just reduce spacing, and you can create an interesting sort of blurry effect design like that. Again, using a mouse, but of course, if you're using a pen, you could maybe modify the pressure so it would decrease and increase in size, etc. And again, you've got this other one as well, which was a jumble of all characters. So you can double click on that one, and you can see it's made up of lots of different designs. You could, of course, make it up. Lots of different colours, a whole range of different things. Change the spacing for that one, maybe fill that. Rotation, just change that. And again, dynamics, just go if you want lots of colours to it. Scatter, scatter again, rotation. You can quickly, very rapidly, fill the design with lots and lots of letters like that. And again, if I had an art pad pen with this, then you would see the effect there. And you can just create like loads of them. Of course, you can create any other characters as well. You don't have to create with A and C and D, etc. You can use one, two, three, five, six, seven, modify the fonts, maybe go for like one and then space five. You can have maybe characters that are like two or three characters and then combine those into a brush stroke. Whole range of different designs that can be created. Or maybe apply sort of, let's just go back. So let's go to file and new. You don't have to create Design, you can just go like to A. Uh, let's just put A there. Maybe apply distortions. So you don't have to keep it sort of a perfect sort of design like that. You can always go, and now I'm going to create two. Hold down the alter option key. So you've got two there, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a filter. As soon as you apply a filter, it's going to deform it. You might not want that. And again, you might want to change the color. You might decide, you know what, I want red there. You can go for black, perfectly reasonable as well. But I think personally, I think obviously different colors like that works much better with that brush. But you can just go with that and then you can just change that. Let's go for filters and distort and deform. So you can distort your text. Let's bring up the panel here. There's the panel. And of course you can use others. You can use twirl, a whole load of ones. So you can just distort the text, create all sort of warpings like that. Now, obviously it's not text anymore, you can't edit it anymore. Click apply, do exactly the same as before, effects, just go down there to out of shadow, select that, set the radius, offset, etc. And you've got your, maybe go for 3D, give it a bit of depth. So 3D, radius, click close. And you can see the design with the A there, maybe again with a different A on top of that, resize it, and so on. You can create thousands of different designs just using characters. Again, select all of them and then go to layer and go down to merge visible. So they all become merged into a single design. Of course, you can always move that away. And of course, you could always decide, you know what, have all those join as well. If you want, combine it even more times. So you've got that design. Again, just go to the brushes panel, right side menu and new brush from selection. New brush on section and it's just added there and again you can keep it maybe go for filter and distort and maybe twirl so you can maybe not that extreme because obviously you want it to be still 
you can see that it's still letters and things. So you can just, just change that, maybe distort it like that, click apply. Always go down here to effects, click there to effects, and then you can add, maybe go for outer shadow for that one. Create even more sort of different designs with that. Maybe again, 3D. Just add a 3D effect to that. And then click close. And so on and so on. Well, I think I probably added the wrong one. I added bevel, I think. That's what it looks like. No, no, it was a 3D one. Sometimes, sometimes you're working at 3D, sometimes you think, oh, is that a bevel or not? Very similar. So you've got that design there. And again, of course, you can always duplicate it much, much more. But you can always then go over here to the brushes, right side menu, and again, new brush from selection. Just a selection, just adds it very quickly to there. And then you can, of course, go here and you can edit it, modify it, size jitter, change hue jitter if you want. Don't have to, you can just keep it, just go in the colors that you create it with. And then again, you can change the spacing and you can see the design there. Click close and apply it maybe with another one. You can also select any of these brushes and use them with features such as symmetry. So just go up here, set the symmetry on. So you can see when I set the symmetry on is you get this central symmetry. I'm gonna go with four. You can vary the symmetry. You can go for eight, 10, nine, whatever. But I'm just going with four. I think four works nicely. One thing with it, set the width to a reasonable value. If you go with the default, say like 800 or something, I think sometimes, unless the document is enormous, you're gonna have problems with it. So it's nice to actually create. And also, you might like to change the spacing. I think sometimes you can use these ones. I'm just gonna show you quickly, apply one here. Again, reduce the size. Maybe make it about 140. And you can apply it like that. And you can see it just generates outwards like that. You can create some lovely designs using that. But I think sometimes it works best with something like with spacing. So double click there and you can see this design. And again, reduce the size down, maybe go for about 140. And then you can just apply it. Now I'm using a, obviously a mouse, so it's not as ideal as using a pen, obviously. But you can create all kinds of lovely symmetrical designs very rapidly with text using this approach. And you of course can click like that. You don't have to obviously apply it flowing, but you can apply some of it nice flowing brush. And you can of course vary the, again, the spacing if you want to create different designs. But again, you've got this text design very quickly using that symmetry effect up there. And of course there's many other features you can use and you've still got all the various filters as well that you could apply to this design as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.